Hello everyone, this is Hans, and today we are back in the Project 1999s. Last time we came over to the show for Glad to talk to Hagger, and he was giving us a shirt for a note that we had turned into him. Um, it's a dirty shirt, but that is okay because it is the armor of the protectors. So we're all going to keep it with us this whole time. I may not wear it the whole time, but I will have it on me all the time, because it is part of the protectors protecting equipment. Anyway, I did go ahead and go into this building here and I saw things so that we didn't have to see them while I was on the cameras. But that's okay. We're going to go in here and we're going to talk to people and see what they say to me. Because they are awesome. Hello, Aaron. How are you doing today? Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me. I am sorry, Aaron, but you are still nice. I like you. Hello, Gilliarian. Oh, he does talk to me. He says, hello, friend. Oh, I am his friend. Welcome to Shufa Glade. I, I need not remind you about the poaching, I hope. Oh, I don't know about the poaching. I am not a poacher, though. I am a ranger. I am a strider. I am a lover of all the animals. So, I, what poaching do you speak of? Poaching is illegal. I would hope so. We are the protectors of the pine. Rangers sworn to protect our lands and all its inhabitants. This includes the wildlife. Yes, we should. We spend a lot of hunt, a lot of time hunting pro, uh, poachers. If you would uh, like, if you want to join the hunt, let me know. Saying, I want to. Join the hunt. Very good friend. Oh, I know. We are friends. Be on the lookout for poachers in the Shuffle Glade and Kinos, uh, uh, Kinos Hills, especially nearby the caves. The poachers are not always human. Often uh, times we find ourselves a black barrel no or two. Bring back their heads. Oh, that is nasty. Let us let's see how they look on the mantle. The mounted look mounted above the mantle. I I got those two words mixed around, but that's okay. Be on your way, then. You don't tell me where I go. But look at the thunder. They are so cutesy with the little beard, and then they have the arrows on the back. Oh, that's great. Oh, how you doing, Sylvian? Oh, do you want to talk to me? Hello, Hans. Oh, that is my name. Are you interested in helping the League of Antonian Bods like, by the cook? I'm sorry, by delivering mail? No, I am a protector. I do not have time for protecting your mail. What are you talking of? Hello, Morian. Oh, hello. Welcome to Show for Glades. I know everybody says it to me. Are you in, Are you planning the trip to Kinos? Actually, that is where I am going. If you are, could you, could you, I could use some help finding my brother. Okay, who is your brother? Your brother. My brother, Ron, went to Kinos several days ago uh, to, for supplies he has just uh he was just going to sneeze and back but he hasn't been seen since i can't leave the glade because i am a, uh, oh because of saboteurs could attack any minute oh that's not good could you please find out what the captain uh, what happened to my brother i need about ronan kaskin say i will ask need about ron kaskin thank you i will do this for you no, last time, whenever we ended, I went ahead and come in here and sold all the stuff. So we do have some monies now. That is good. We wanted the money so that we can get things like a torch so we can see at night. Let us go ahead and go over to Kinos and see what is going on over there. 
I hope Sneed is not a bad man. His name is Badsies, though. Okay, so let us head over to Kino's. Oh, it is dark again. Now, someone had told me that my light was so dark on the screen, and I understand that, and I am very sorry, but let me show you something. If I press Alt and O, I will go over to the displays, and you will see that now all the camera is all the way up. There is no other way that I can fix this, I don't think. If there is, please let me know. Oh, there is a person over here, Shadna. How are you doing? Let us speak to her. Um, I don't know you. Please, um, leave to me? Okay, I shall do this. You are very, not very nice. So let me go ahead and leave. Oh, look at the you could see Wolfies. Hello, Wolfies. He is indifferent to me. Oh, I am targeting myself. That is why I am indifferent. Hello, Wolf. Let me talk at you. I want to talk at you, Wolfie. Wolfie, please come back. There you go. Okay. He is Emily to me. He means he is better than indifferent. That is great. I love the animals. But they do not like the bats. They are very weird. They are cutesy faces, but they are very weird. They do the sonic thing where they push, like, webs against other things, and then that's how they hear. Are they actually doing anything to us with that noise at all? Or do we even continue it? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it at all. Oh, hello, little wolfy. Oh, not the wolfy. I'm sorry. Little fire beetle guy. Oh, are you good? Oh, you are a decaying skeleton. Let me go ahead and kill you. I know you want to decay completely. Oh, it is very dark. I am sorry. I know that it is hard to see what I am doing. Okay, let us just get off to Kinos and try to get a torch. That way we can see everything on the screen. Oh, there is a merchant that I told you about in the house. Let's go and talk to them and see if they have a torch. Because we want one. Oh, look at the bear. Are you a good bear? He is a rabbit bear. And he is threatening to me. I don't want him to attack me. Because I love him. Even though he is rabbit. And Miss Holy Windstalker, she will attack me. I do not want that. Okay, let me get over to Kinos then. Oh, actually, let we are almost to the house. Oh, we will follow the daylight by the little willow wisp is up here. Hello, willow wisp. Will you lead me all the way to Kinos? Oh, I love you. Oh, I cannot see you anymore. I have to go past you. Here's the house. I know you probably cannot see it. It is very dark. Oh, there is a bear. I didn't mean to scare you, bear. I love you. He loves me too. He is Amelie. Oh, look at this guy. He has no shirt on and he is rippling with the muscles. He must be a monk. He is good with the chi. Hello. Hello, Martin. Do you have the torch? I need a torch. You do not have a torch. You disappoint me. I am very sorry, but I must go. I am not a purveyor of your goods. We are almost there. I will meet you over in the Kinos area. Okay, here we are. We are back in Kinos. And we do have all the parties around. And all the clickinacks. Oh, is that the queen, Z? Or are you the princess? Oh, she is the queen. You are a pretty queen. I do not disturb you. Oh, this person wants to get disturbed, though. She wants to hit, get hit by the queen because she is fighting near at. Hello, God. I am home. Do you sell torches? You sell a lot of things. You do sell a fire beetle eye, but I want a torch. There is a torch here. Let's get that. And let's open our inventory. 
I hope that is better. Okay, so let us look at the buildings here. Oh, this is Sneeds. Let us go in and talk to Mr. Sneeds. Oh, we do not want to get on this counter. We are getting dirt there. Dirt from our dirty shirts. Hello. Hello, Hans. Oh, he knows me. I am Sneed Galloway, merchant and citizen. I run the only general shop in all Aquinos, serving the needs of the many adventurers who call Kinos home. If only one of them would take the time to help me with uh, my problem. Mm, I don't have time for that at the moment. I need to talk to you about Ron. Say, have you seen Ron? Ron? Kaskin. Oh, I keep messing it up. Sorry. Kaskin. Ron? I saw him a few days ago. He was with someone dressed in black. Oh, he was talking about the guy with the guitar who is... He talks about the train tracks all the time. I don't recognize. I think I saw them later in the day swimming in the North Pond. They really should stay away from that. Uh, so, oh, the aqueducts. They are quite dangerous for the rats, you know. The North. Hmm. Now, we have the ability to sense head sinks. But I don't know where the things are at the moment. So we do have a pond right next to us. I wonder if that is the north. This is the pond I was speaking of. And it does have a hole in the middle of it. But is this the pond they were talking about? Because there is a pond in every section. Oh, are you Ron? Oh, you are not Ron. Let me hide these corpses. There are too many corpses around me. I did make a button that says hide things. Let me push that. Now whenever I lose things, it should disappear as the bodies. Okay. Well, I do not want to go down there yet. I am too low level. And I do not know if that is the correct direction that I am facing. If we're out here, we can find out. Then we will do that. He said the west, right? Let me double check. North. He said the North Pond. Okay, let us kill the skeletons and get the bonzies. Soon we will have to kill a Kaliknak just because that is the way the things go. You have to make experiences and the only way to do that is to expand your horizons. But for now we continue with these guys. Hello guy, I want to kill you. I am going to tell you to. Oh, and tracking. Let us track. You are dead. Do not fight it. Thank you. Okay, let us look for more. Oh, uh, hello, little Chrissy Rod. I see another one. Oh, I see another one there as well. We got more to kill. Okay, the cane skeleton, you don't need to run away from me. You are too slow. I am faster than you. Die. We can dance if you want to. Oh, this is a ballet. This is what's happening here. He is swinging at me. I am swinging at him. I hit him. He does not hit me. And all crumbles to the ground. I take your stuffs too. I am on your way. I am on your back. I am not a rogue though. Thank you. Oh, you hit me. How cute. 
Aw, you just give me some monies. Where is Lashen? I need to give him the stuff. Easy bone chips is what I'm talking about. You are naughty people. Well, we have all these beetles out here. We must start killing at least one or two. Even though they will kill us. We do need to try. I see the boy. He's a man. I'm sorry, I did not mean to disrespect you, Mr. Man Guy. I am going to attack you and I promise I will not be mean. I will be swift with my justices. Because I am protected, not you. Oh, he might kill me. All right, let us swing a little bit more than we are. There we go. You are doing it right now. Oh, that one hurt a little bit. You are touching me inappropriately. And I touch you inappropriately too. Oh, sorry. I will not attack them. They are going to kill me if I try to attack them now. Where are the, the little skeletons? I need to kiss them. Hello. Oh, you got monies. I mean, a mess. Same thing. You just turn it in for the monies. We still don't know what, where, what direction we are heading. It's kind of funny, actually. Well, I'm going to go down the hall. I feel that while we do need experiences, this would be an experience. It would be the traveling through the hall and finding maybe a guy that may kill us. It is always possible in dark places to get killed. And that is something that is called what other people call it an adventure, so we are definitely going to do that. All right, let us swim. I hope the mud does not come off of a shirt. Okay, here we are. Cloppy the Rat Slayer. You are not slaying the rats very well. I see one over there. That's very funny. Let me out of the water. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, hello. You know, I look up fishing. I took up fishing because it was nice, quiet activity. Most of all, I look. I look it up to avoid. I look it up to avoid conversations with strangers. Get the picture. Oh, yes, you do not want to talk to me. You are very scary. Oh, I am very dead, though. <gasps> this is wrong, Kaskin. We should not be here. What what, what level are you? Oh, we can kill him. It is possible. Oh, this is not good. Ron is dead. Ron, I am sorry for your death, and I am sorry that I must kill you now. No, this. I am sorry for your death, Ron. Who did this to you? It's not your fault. I do not blame you. He said weird words at the end there. Let us let us party. A torn parchment. We need to take this back to his sister. And that is good because I do not want to be down here any longer than I was supposed to be. 
Okay, we are still. We need to resolve. That was very lucky. I did not know if that was the pose that he was talking about. But it is good that we, we were able to get it. It is also too bad that we had to kill Ron's dead corpse. I would have figured he would have killed me as well. Good thing we were level 2. <laughs> oh, we can't breathe again. Let us get out of here, and we're gonna head all the way over to Shuffle Glade so we can turn in, turn in this knot. Let me see if it says anything, though, that is legible by us. Dear Moreno, I want to, I won't be returning to you. You see, I have found my true calling as a disciple of Batoxelas. I have become one of the bloodstabbers. Well, you have been one of the backstabbed persons because you are not one of them anymore, are you? I have foolishly given them my flesh. <gasps> oh, that is why you are bonny. I was a weak. I was a weakling and cried while they stripped stripped it from my bones. I only pray that you is that you will someday know the pain that I know and endure as one of the undead, your pitiful and stupid dead brother, Ron. That is funny. How did you write that whenever you were already being struck to the bones? Were you a bonny man? Were you using your finger to write those words? Oh, this is fun. Anyway, we go over to Sir Foglaze again. This has taken us all over the place. It's a good. Now, I wanted to go through the off go ducks a little bit more, but it was okay. We did get to sings. Oh, you are crazy. You attacking me? I attacked you first. That's right. I'm sorry. Thank you. I will take your buns. I am strong now. I have taken the, the life of a dead relative of a ranger, and that means that I am more powerful now. Hopefully I get paid good stuff, but that was not why I did it. I did it because I was a protector, and I wanted to make sure that her brother was okay. It's too bad to find out that he was dead, though. But Toxalus. Let me tell you about the Patoxalus. He is a playbringer. The plague bringer, they are the ones who make a lot of the Karanos now all green of mist. It's because they have taken over. Whenever the sleeper of the tomb in Slipper's tomb was awoken, she ended up releasing Batoxalus or something like that. And Batoxalus has placed the plague upon the Karanos. I don't know why. I don't, maybe it was the faction of the person who ended up waking a sleeper, because a sleeper is not meant to be woken. They're supposed to be a sleeper. Don't you understand that? Anyway, she is not sleeping anymore, and so they are doing the thing with the Karanas. There is supposed to be something that will happen at some point in time where we can go ahead and try to take care of that, but for now, it is not possible. Oh, look at the rat. He was in the house. Were you buying things from a merchant? He didn't have a torch, did he? I'm sorry about that. All right, let us continue. We are almost back to Shifog Lids. I am continue to show you where I am going. That way, if we get attacked, you can see me die. That is always fun. Okay, here is a willow wisp again. He is going to lead us as far as we are going to walk past him. And he will at least give us some sort of light. You are pretty. He is a pretty boy. You cannot see him. He is so tiny, though. That is why they are wispy. I see more bats. I see a bear. The bears love me unless they are rabid. And then, oh, it is a brown bear. He loves me. Oh, I love them too. So let us go back over to the keynote. Oh, to, I'm sorry, we're coming from the keynotes. I am all mixed up. I had too much of that beer last time. 
So this time we're going to go ahead and talk with her. We're going to turn into the notes. And then we are going to end the day. Because I feel that we have done a lot of adventuring. Even though we are not level of the two, we are getting there. And we did some killing. We never kill the wolves though. The wolves are always going to love us. Maybe one day we can use the wolves as a pet. And they will love us and they will hunt for us and they will kill for us. You too, Bear. I love you. Now, I know that is more of a thing of the druids, but I do want to hold. You got to you got to hold on to your dreams until they are crushed, of course. Hello. Oh, you got a sword. This is an even match, of course. <laughs> even though you are lesser than me. There we go. Oh, we got a busted sword? Instead of showing and selling away all the busted swords, what we could do is we could actually sharpen them if we can find a sharpener. And that way we can actually get better at the skill of the blacksmiths. Which, if we do the blacksmithing, we can get the little armor that will allow us to be able to be chainy and oh, even more sexy than we currently are. Hello guards, I'm glad to see that you are still there. You guys are very reliant. Are you sleeping under those helmets? I cannot tell. All right, now this is going to be a very complicated situation. We are about to tell her that her brother is dead and she is going to cry on our shoulder, but that is okay, we love her. We just hope that she doesn't get any dirt on her face from our shoulder, from our, you know, our shirt. But that's okay, we love her anyway, and we do not care if she takes a little bit of dirt from our shirt. It is a dirty shirt. It will stay dirty because it is a dirty shirt. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, Crystal, I see you all running again. Are you trying to get ready for the, the triathlon? Okay, we come in here. Marion, I have to say that I talked to the guy, the Sneed, and he was like, your brother, he came in with someone in black, and I told him, oh, that is not good, and he said, he went into the water in a pond, and it went into the aqueduct, so I, w I took that aqueduct location, and I ended up finding your brother, this is the note that he had on him, I am very sorry, it is sad, Thank you for the water. Oh, it is a water flask. We may could keep it and it will stay flasky for us. We can take an experience. Oh, and we got six gold. That is good. What do you say to us, though? You had to be sad, right? Oh, to not why those foul back bloodstabbers will pay for my brother's death here. Have you have given us valuable information about the new threat to our homes. Take this as a token of our appreciation. I do, I do, and I am very sad for you. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy. This has been Hans, and I will talk to you in the next video.